I'm Michael Chief with Mike'sGuitarLessons.com, and today we're going to learn The Good Guys and the Bad Guys by John Durrell. And um, basically, this is a pretty straightforward country song, um, rhythm-wise, too. Uh, but before we get to the rhythm, one thing we need to pay attention to is the actual tuning of the song. By the way, before I forget, um, you can check out the rest of my videos at www.Mike'sGuitarLessons.com. My Twitter account is uh, at Mike's Guitar. I also have a blog now too um, that is Web Guitar Lessons. Or, yeah, it's WebGuitarLesson.com. And um, I put a lot of deals and specials on that blog um, that I don't put anywhere else. You might want to check that out too. Facebook group is Mike's Guitar Lessons. So now that that's all out of the way, um, this song is actually somewhere in the neighborhood just below the key of G. What I mean by that, it's written in the key of G, but the guitar is tuned slightly flat. It's not a, half, a full half step down or a whole step down, it's just a little bit flat. So um, I'm actually, I've actually tuned my guitar down a little bit to match it. Um, you don't have to do that if you're just going to play the song and sing with it. Standard tuning will work just fine. Um, now, to start off with, we're worried about that rhythm. Okay, because you're pretty much going to apply it to most of the chords in the song. And if you haven't learned this one before, um, it's a real handy one to use. So what we're going to do is uh, start with our beginning chord. That's that G chord. And the rhythm we're going to use is basically um, repeated on every chord. So you're going to go down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? I keep my hand moving the entire time. I don't go, I don't do that and pause and wait or anything like that. You want to keep that hand moving and just hit the strings when, that was an accident, but when you're supposed to. So what you're going to do is keep your hand moving the whole time and start with the downstroke. And you're going to go down, then skip it, down, okay, so down, down, then up, then skip it, and then up, so down, down. And then down, up. And then you just keep repeating that. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, I'm not holding a pick here just to keep the guitar a little bit quieter, but um, it works the same way with a pick. Now, um, we want to learn that intro that's at the beginning of the song, okay? So the chords you're going to need are G, like I just played. Mm -hmm. So starting at the thick E string, it's 3rd fret, and A string is 2nd, then open on the D, G, and B, and then 3rd fret on the skinny E string, okay? You're going to play that rhythm on the G chord, then go to an E minor, which is open, 2nd, 2nd, open, 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 okay? Play that rhythm. Then you're going to go to a B minor bar chord. So uh, you're not going to play the thick E string, but you're going to play second on the A. Then you're going to play fourth on the D and the G strings. And you're going to play third fret with your middle finger on the B string. And then second fret on the skinny E string. Okay, that's a B minor bar chord. Still the same rhythm on that one. Just make sure you mute this thick E string with your first finger. Then we're going back to that E minor chord, and then you repeat the whole thing. So remember, it's G, E minor, B minor, E minor, okay? So one time through it is going to sound like this. the intro he's about to start singing right after that um, one thing uh, that you want to remember is just in rhythm guitar playing in general remember that it's more important to get to the next chord on time than it is to stay on the chord you're playing presently the whole time so when I'm playing this G and I need to get to my E minor I can go ahead and leave a little bit early to get to that E minor the big, biggest problem would be to get to that E minor late, so I'm going to leave a little early. On the 
that last strum, I can actually be on my way to that E minor, hit the strings open. I know it doesn't seem like that would work, but if you do it quickly, it doesn't sound bad. And be ready for that E minor on the next strum. You see that? Okay. And um, if you remember that rule, your rhythm guitar playing will sound a lot better because uh, at the beginning it can be daunting to try and switch to the next chord as fast as it seems like you need to, okay? So remember that rule. It's more important to get to the next chord on time than it is to stay on the chord that you're on for the entire time, okay? Now, um, what we're gonna do now is the actual verse. I know uh, I took a little time to get here and you might have thought I was gonna end at the intro, but I actually wanna get the verse done here too. So, let's go ahead and start the verse and uh, essentially what we've got here is a chord progression that's going to have the same rhythm that we just played um, and once we get all the way through the chords you just play them uh, one more time okay so you're gonna play it start off with the G chord then you're gonna go to B minor then we're gonna go to a C chord now uh, if you haven't played a C chord before don't play the thick E string 3rd fret on the A string, 2nd on the D, open on the G, 1st on the B, and open on the skinny E string. Okay, so that's your C chord. Next chord is going to be an A minor. Um, with that one, it's real similar to a C. What you had right there, take your 3rd finger, pull it back and put it on the G string, and you'll have it. Okay, so A uh, minor is open on the A. We don't play the E string. Open on the A, second on the D and the G, first on the B string, open on the E string. Okay? So that's A minor. Our next chord in the chord progression is back to a C. Already taught you that one. Uh, then we have a D chord. We're not going to play the thick E string. The A string, I actually let play on most of my D chords. It's not. Um, usually supposed to be the lowest note on the D chord is not usually supposed to be an A, but because of the way the guitar is set up, it's okay. It's okay, so it's going to be open on the A, open on the D, second fret on the G, third fret on the B, and second on the skinny E string. Okay? Now, uh, after the D chord, then you're going to go back to a G and play that same rhythm on that G. Now, um, what it's going to sound like when you actually just play through that is this. And you can play the rhythm on that one. The one thing you might uh, want to do, just as an added little um, sound effect to, it's not a sound effect, but it's a, a, a way of playing this last G chord in the chord progression, you can do this the first time and the second time you play this, is when you're playing that G, you can go to a C add D and then back to a G. So basically what you want to do is take these two fingers up here and move them down um, each one string. So you're going to go just like that, okay? Just to kind of copy the rhythm that's on the actual song. So and then back to the G for that last strum. Okay? You can add that if you want to. So you're going to go through the verse chord progression that I just showed you two times in a row. So what that's going to sound like is this. into the chorus after that. Now, there's a couple of pickup chords or lead notes in that um, chorus. But we're going to take care of those on the next video, okay? So uh, that's all for this video. Remember, if you have any questions ever, whether you're a member of my website or not, um, you can email me your questions at feedback at mikesguitarlessons.com and I'll be more than happy to answer them. 
And if you don't get an answer from me, maybe send another email just to make sure because sometimes they go to my junk folder and uh, you know I just don't see them. So anyways, thanks for watching.